Hey guys, that up here. On my way to and from work, I listen to the Survival Podcast on my phone with Jack Spierko. And on December 13th and the 12th, 12th and 13th, he had Steve Harris on again. And Steve Harris is the master of a battery backup. Basically, you can uh, take a couple deep cycle batteries and you get a charger and an inverter and power your house off of your vehicle or off of the, these batteries which you can charge with your car or you can charge with um, your generator or whatever other power supply you have instead of using solar panels which are still kind of too expensive for me. So here is my attempt at Steve Harris's battery backup system for the house. Now the first thing you're going to need for a battery backup system are batteries. Here I have two Group 27 uh, Deep Cycle Marine batteries. I picked these up off of eBay of all places uh, in a local section from a guy who lives maybe two towns away from me. And I picked these up for $10 each. They aren't new, but they are the same age and they were bought together and they were sold to me together and uh, they both have a good charge on them so we're going to use these until I can afford the group 31 deep cycle marine batteries they're about $109 each and I already made a big purchase this month so I can't afford those batteries now but maybe in a month or two I'll be able to pick those up next you're going to need some battery cables you're going to need two that run from the positive and negative out to the inverter and you're going to need one that will go from a positive on one battery to a negative on the other battery. And I picked these up at Napa. Uh, these two here were $12.86 each. And this one was $9.74 each using my AAA discount. I got these for $7.44 each and this one for $5.60. So use discounts when you can. Now these are only 4 gauge. Uh, in a perfect world, you should use two or zero gauge, but I just couldn't find any of those um, that would match for all of them, and I wanted it to all be equal, so that's another thing that I will save up and buy later. The next thing you're going to need is a power inverter. I picked this up for $50 from the same guy I bought the batteries from. This is 1,500 watts continuous, 1,800 watts for 20 minutes, and a 3,000 watt peak DC to AC power inverter. The last thing you're going to need is a battery charger and this is the one thing that I do not cheap out on. Uh, if you go to uh, battery1234.com, that's Steve Harris's website, there is a list of all of the best of the best items that you can get uh, tried and tested for uh, battery chargers, for inverters, for uh, double A AA and triple A rechargeable batteries and their chargers and lights and everything you can think of. This was at the top of his list for the battery chargers. Now I think it might be a little too powerful for what I have going on right now, but it was on sale and it was cheaper than the website that Steve Harris says was uh, recommending you get it on because he looks for the best deals for us. And I'm going to do a bigger battery bank than uh, I'm going to be trying right now eventually. So I wanted to have a, the best charger for it. This will do 150 amp um, engine start, which, yay. But this has a 55 amp rapid charge, a 20 amp fast charge, and a 2 amp trickle charge. This is also a microprocessor controlled charger, so it will uh, decide how much power you need or not, or if you need it at all. And it's designed to not ruin your batteries. For people like me who want to try to put the negative on the positive and the positive on the negative, this thing will not allow power to go that direction, so it, it is uh, nub proof, I suppose. And the other thing I like about it is it has an automatic shutoff and so I can keep this plugged in always and it will always stay at max power. Well I kind of messed up when I was getting my parts yesterday. 
I have this cable here, which is the one that I uh, was going to connect both of the two batteries. And when the guy at the parts store told me that, I just it sounded a little off for what I wanted to do. But it also sounded kind of right like I've heard it before. And that's because it is a way to do it. You would connect one cable to the positive and the other one to the negative of the other battery, which would connect them. But it would double the volts and not double the amp hours, which is what I want to do. I want to keep it 12 volts. So I needed to get one of these and one of these. And I will connect positive to positive, negative to negative, And that will double the amp hours and still keep it at 12 volts. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, the next step is to take our positive wire and connect it to both of the positive terminals. nice and tight. We're going to leave this one open for just now and we're going to take the negative and we're going to connect it over here on the negative side. Now we're going to take the positive power for the inverter and plug it in. And again, making sure to keep it completely seated and tight. Now we're going to take the negative and do the same thing. When you're doing this, you really want to make sure that your inverter is turned off. Uh, maybe at the end of this, I'll show you me being scared when it sparked on me. But it really did freak me out. Okay, so now both of those are plugged in. We have positive to positive, negative to negative. That's going to give us double the amperage, but the same 12 volts. We have those plugged in all the way up here to our inverter, which we are going to now test with some Christmas lights. We'll plug this in here, turn it on, give it a beat, and there we go. We have power. All running off of our two marine batteries and our inverter. Let's turn this back off, unplug the lights, and let's plug our charger in. So now we have our cables here for the charger, where you're going to plug in positive to positive, and our negative to the negative. Now all we have to do is hit the on switch, let that thing power up, set it for a 24 hour a day timer, and now we have the charger powering the batteries, which power the inverter, which will give us light that will be running for 24 hours a day on a trickle charge, and when the power goes out, we will have two marine batteries full of power just waiting for us. That's all I have for this video. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video. The negative. I'm going to put it in.